So in this project, we're just going to create a little water counter. So for example, um, if I look at my history, I can see how much water I have here. Um, and then I'm going to add in a record. So it's not using any core data, it's just um, using some data structures and a table view. So if I add in this, for example, for today, I click add. It's going to add in that amount. If there's an entry already today, so let's say I want to add in another three uh, liters of water, I press add it will add to that total. So this is going to be a little project. Um, it's going to run through and show you how to create it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a new project. So we go to Xcode, File, New, Project. I'm going to uh, select a single view application or if you're using Xcode 12, it's just called an app. Um, and I've of course selected iOS there as well. Click Next. I'm going to give this uh, project a name. Make sure it's got my organization identifier. We're using storyboards, not Swift UI. Make sure the language is Swift uh, and we're not using core data for this. Um, it's just a little mock up application. Okay, and I'm going to put this onto my desktop. And then my project will be created. Okay, so I've got my project here. I'll just zoom out a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is to embed this inside a tab bar controller. So I can do that from this little bar down the bottom here and select tab bar controller, or I can also go to editor, embed in tab bar controller. All right, so this gives me my tab bar controller. Um, so I've got my first view here, which is linked to my view controller.swift. I also need to make a table view. So I'll go to my object library. And I'm going to look for table view, make sure you pick table view controller, drag this one onto my screen, and then I want to link my table view controller to my tab bar controller. So I select on the top level, I can also select from here as well, press control and drag to my table view, I select relationship segue view controller. Okay, and the extra tab will appear and now I have my table view. Now currently if I select my table view, there's no code linked to this at the moment. So I need to add a new file, file, new file, select Cocoa Touch class, hit next. It's going to be my table view controller. Make sure it's of UI table view controller type. Next, make sure it's inside my project. Okay, so that adds my file, and then I need to link this to my view. So select, select my table view. Okay, so now I know it's working because if I go to my system editor, I can see both my code and I can see uh, my controller as well. Okay, so that's set up. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is set up a couple of uh, views just to uh, get myself ready for the next part. Uh, so I'm going to work on this view controller here. I'm going to add in a label. Oops, it's a table. Let's try a label. Drag that on. Uh, I'm going to have a text area which will allow me to enter the amount of water. And I'm also going to have a button. So I'll drag all those in. Okay, again, I'm going to go to my assistant editor. Okay, and I want to create outlets for each of these. We're going to code this later on um, in another part, but for now I'm just going to create the outlets for them. So I press control and drag across. Uh, this is going to be LBL water uh, app instructions. Cool, this one here is my text. So I'm going to control and drag. Again, an outlet, TXT. Uh, water volume connect and last but not least is my button control and drag I'm going to make this an action and this will be btn add water okay so for now I'm just going to say print uh, action okay so this is just set up uh, ready for us to progress 
Uh, I'm also going to change these icons as well. So if I click on the icon here and I go to my attributes, I can change the image to plus sign, change my title. So we can see that that has changed there. And this one here is going to be uh, my history of water consumption. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to do a some sort of clock. Call my clock. Okay, so this is all set up ready for us to uh, begin coding.